in him. You belong to his family. John chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. A very powerful truth about our life in Jesus Christ is this, that we are born of God, and because we are born of God, we are part of the family of God. We are children of God, sons and daughters of God. So as John writes here, that as many as received Jesus, to them he gave the authority, the right to become children of God. And uh, we were born, not of the flesh, not of the will of man, not of, the, not of blood, but we were born of God. So that's who you are in Christ. You are part of the family of God. You are born of God. What does this imply? I mean, what are the implications of this? Imagine you are born of God. What are the implications? It means that what's in God is in you. His life and nature is in you. You're part of Him. You're born of Him. His life flows in you. It's like God gave birth to you. You're born of Him. His life and nature is in you. You're a partaker of divine nature. It means you belong to his family. It means that God's eyes are on you as one of his sons and daughters. And you know, in God, we are all sons and daughters. It's like we are all firstborn. God doesn't have, you know, the first, first son, the second son, the third son. Oh, you're the fifth in line. You're the 1,000th in line. Or you're the grandson or the great grandson. None of that. We are all firstborn, meaning we are in Christ. Christ is the firstborn. We are firstborn. That means we are treated like the heirs of God. Firstborn is the firstborn who gets the inheritance. And that's what the Bible says. We are the heirs of God. We are joint heirs with Christ. So you are a son and daughter of God. God is your father. He looks at you as his own child. You are, your identity is the family of God. You belong to his family. Now, this is spiritual truth. This is a spiritual reality. Now, when you walk on the earth, live out of that spiritual reality. Live out of that spiritual life that you have in God. You are born of God. In him, you're part of the family of God. God is your father. You are a son or a daughter of God. You belong to that family. So you can now lift your head up high you know that God Almighty is watching over you as one of His own sons and daughters. He will not fail you, He will not, he will not forsake you, He will not abandon you. You belong to His family. He is sure to take care of His own. Now you walk with that expectation. In Him, you belong to His family. Let's pray. Father, we pray and ask that You will help us recognize what we have in Christ that we are part of your family. We are born of God. We are your sons and daughters. Help us to live as sons and daughters. Help us to enjoy belonging to the family of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.